in the name of allah the most beneficent and the most merciful assalamu alaikum everyone my name is hamna wakas from bs biochemistry department and today i'm here to present a topic of chemistry which is called anthracene so this presentation is going to present to all my class fellows and my respected teacher who is dr hamad majid and i'm saying warmly welcome to all my viewers and listeners and thanks for watching this video so let's get started okay first of all we will talk about our today's contents which is basically introduction preparations theories reactions and then physical properties chemical properties applications in industries and daily life and then lastly conclusions okay here is the introduction of anthracene so let me describe about what is anthracene anthracene is basically a three rings of benzene you all know about that benzene is an aromatic compound and it consists of a ring and this ring is consists of delocalized pi electron anthracene is basically is a fusion of three benzene rings that are coiled together anthracene is a solid fully alicyclic aromatic hydrocarbon having a formula of c14h10 consisting of three fused benzene rings it is a component of coal tar now the question is that what is coal tar coal tar is basically a black thick liquid having an unpleasant smell and you can obtain it by heating coal in the absence of air yes so anthracene is used in the production of red dye and other dyes anthracene is colorless but exhibits a blue fluorescence under ultraviolet radiations as you know that ultraviolet radiations are also called uv radiations that uh, that that come from the sun and uh, when we will expose anthracene under those radiations it will gives us a blue color okay now we are going to discuss about the preparation methods of anthracene it can be prepared by the following methods number 1 Petelcraft's reaction, number two, Alves reaction, number three, from benzyl chloride, number four, from benzene and methyl bromide, and lastly and most important is from anthraquinone. Number one is Petelcraft's reaction. It is basically done when an alkyl group can be added by an, an electrophile aromatic substitution reaction. So. alkyl alkylation reaction to a benzene molecule can be a example to this uh, can be a example to this reaction and the second example is that the addition of a methyl group to a benzene ring is one example and uh, we are going to react an anthracene with a petel crafts reaction in the presence of a catalyst so let's move towards its reaction okay here you can see that we have two molecules of benzyl chloride and we are going to heat it under the presence of a catalyst alcl3 and uh, we are going to minus two molecules of hcl then we have anthracene but the middle part of the anthracene doesn't contain any ring so to to fulfill all the rings we are going to minus two molecules of hydrogen and then we have anthracene is obtained here is the fidel crafts reaction that is obtained by anthracene second reaction is alves reaction the alves reaction is basically is an organic reaction describing a pyrolysis of an orthomethyl substitution benzophenone to a condensed polyaromatic compound this reaction is named after its inventor who was its inventor its inventor was basically a german chemist karl alves also responsible for alves oxidation the reaction was published in 1884 okay so, so let's move towards its reaction alves reaction is the reaction whereby a polynuclear hydrocarbon is formed by the pyrolysis of a diaryl ketone containing a methyl or aryl group as you know that methyl group is ch3 so here we have a compound which is called o methyl benzenophenone which is which is attached by a benzene which is which is attached by a ch3 molecule and then we will heat it under the presence of a catalyst and in the temperature of 450 degrees centigrade 
and after that anthracene will obtain along with the water along with water molecule the third method is the reaction that is going with benzyl chloride anthracene can be synthesis by a peter crafts reaction using benzyl chloride as i told you that anthracene can be prepared by so many methods so here is one of that let's take two molecules of benzyl chloride and then heat it under the presence of a under the presence of a catalyst which is alcl3 and here the result is anthracene you can see on your screens the fifth method is formation of anthracene from benzene and methylene dibromide so let's take two molecules of benzene along with two molecules of methylene dibromide and heat them under the presence of a catalyst alcl3 and then anthracene is formed the last and the most important method which is which is very famous is the preparation of anthracene from anthracunin here is the fifth method for the preparation of benzene by adding the catalyst zinc or hydrogen so let's take anthracunin and uh, then heat it under the presence of a catalyst zinc and ah2 and here you can see on your screens that anthracene is obtained so those were the preparatory methods for the formation of anthracene here we are going to discuss about the physical properties of anthracene number 1 it is basically a, a colorless solid as you can see on your screen that it is a colorless solid and its melting point is 216 degree centigrade it means that it it starts melting in 21 degree centigrade temperature and as i told you earlier that it gives blue fluorescence means that when you expose anthracene in sunlight and uv rays will obtained on it and it gives blue fluorescence in the presence of uv rays number 4 it is insoluble in water and strongly soluble in inorganic solvents number 5 it is very reactive in 9th and 10th position what does it mean it means that we have three three rings of benzene which is combinedly called anthracene the middle ring of the benzene has two positions 9 and 10 position anthracene is most reactive on those positions number fifth property saturated solution of anthracene xylene on exposure to light from crystals of dimmer it means that when we take a saturated solution of anthracene and then we expose it on light it form beautiful crystals of dimmer so now move towards its applications in daily life and industries anthracene is used as a manufacturing of dyes and poly radicals used to make resins because it is a component of coal tar and because it is an aromatic compound and has delocalized pi electrons it is used as a dilutant for wood protection as an, an in insecticide or a fungicide now the question is that what is the difference between insecticide and fungicides insecticides these are used to control insects and fungicides these are used to control fungal problems and those fungal problems can be mildew rust etc and anthracene is an organic photoconductor crystallized used in electrophotography because of its free electrons as you all know that anthracene is basically three rings of benzene which contain delocalized pi electrons so it is very useful in electrophotography and it is used as a starting material for the manufacturing of dye stuff and in sanitation counters it is responsible for the hybridization because it contain fused benzene ring and in the nature anthracene can be found to small degree in fossil fuels small amount of anthracene can be found in fossil fuels for example coal natural gas and oils and it is the most important and famous property of anthracene which is anthracene as a uv tracer it is present in wood preservatives in insecticides and coating material anthracene is widely used as a uv tracer how because it is used as in printing by board conformal coatings the anthracene tracer allows for uv inspection of a comfortal coating anthracene is also used in the anthracunin use as i told you earlier that 
The major preparatory method to prepare anthracene is from anthraquinone. So its conversion is that take anthracene and then heat it under the presence of oxygen and then you have an anthracurin along with the hydrogen molecule. Anthracene hazards. So there are some drawbacks about anthracene which are we are going to discuss. Number one is that breathing anthracene can irritate nose, throat and lungs causing coughing and wheezing. Eye contact can cause irritation and burns. Anthracene may cause a skin allergy. If allergy develops, very low future per year can cause itching and a skin rash. So please avoid anthracene. But if you want to use it, use preparatory methods and hazards. Chemical properties. So let's move towards the chemical properties of anthracene. Number one is the reaction with bromine and number two is the reaction with oxidation of anthracene. And here you can see two pictures in which I attach the first method and in the second picture, I attach the second method. First method tells us that take three rings of anthracene and heat them under the presence of carbon tetrachloride and you will have a new compound. And then anthracene and you will do the oxidation of anthracene and you, and you will have the anthracunin along with the mo molecule of hydrogen. So it is, is uh, it is called the nitration of anthracene, which is take three molecules of anthracene and then heat it under the presence of hydrochloric acid. And then you have its Cl low anthracene and then heat them under the presence of NaOH, under the presence of H2O and a new compound will obtain, which is called nitration of anthracene. So. What is the conclusion to this topic? You can see the picture of anthracene on the top right corner on your phone's mobiles. Here we have three benzene rings that are fused together having delocalized pi electrons. These lines under the structure represents the delocalization of pi electrons. And now you have to note the positions of benzene rings the corner positions are one, two, three, four, and then eight, seven, six, five. But the center position is nine, ten, which shows that anthracene is most reactive in nine, ten position. So anthracene is anthracene also called paranephthalene or green oil. These are the second names of anthracene, which is a solid polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon consisting of three benzene rings derived from coal tar. And it is the simplest trialicyclic aromatic hydrocarbon. And then anthracene is a white to yellow solid with a weak aromatic order. And its color is white to yellow solid and it has a very weak aromatic order. So it is basically a very useful compound that is used in industries. And its molecular formula is given, which is C4H10. Okay, so here are the references I took by making that uh, slides and hope you will all get understand the purpose of making this presentation will enable you to make to have the full understanding on this topic which is anthracene so if you have any queries and problems related to this topic you can comment and ask them so share this video like this video and comment on that thank you so much for your attention Allah is everyone. Take care.